you are going to come out smiling and rejoicing. Enough of the pain and struggles, enough of the tears and fears, an end has come to the days of oppression at the hand of your tormentors. God will deliver you from every form of bondage you happen to find yourself and bless you so much that your enemies will be shocked and brought to tears. Rise out of your mourning and get ready for a new wave of blessings and glory. Get ready to move out of the position you find yourself in and move on to the promised land where God has destined for you. It is your time to laugh and for the mouth of your enemies to be shut. For every time they have tried to bring you down and cause you tears, they are going to get their payback and their situation will be far worse than what they think they have put you through. It's your season to be blessed, so be expectant. You might be in a situation like that, under the bondage of one person or the other who has refused to let you go or give you what you rightly deserve. Don't be bothered anymore by their wickedness and oppression. There's a God in heaven who hears the cries of the helpless and comes to the aid of his children. He will deliver you from that person and take you to a height that will shock them. It may be your superior at your place of work who has refused to recommend you for promotion for several years. When God blesses you, He will take you to a position greater than that of your superior and they will have no choice but to bow before you with tears in their eyes. It may be someone whom you have been indebted to and who has been mocking you as a result taking every opportunity to announce your lack to everybody. When God blesses you, He will not only pay up that debt, but be in a position to lend to many. God is still in the business of doing wonders. He is still turning lives around and changing tides. He will make the tide turn in your favor and give your enemies a taste of their poison. Blessing you is another way by which God fights your battles for you. He does not necessarily have to destroy the enemies to shut their mouths or bring tears to their eyes. All He will do is bless you abundantly and bring all their plans to naught in your life. The psalmist said in Psalm chapter 23 verse 5 that He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In essence, God can bless you so much and make your enemies stand around to watch you enjoy the blessing that God has given to you. So you need not pray for the death of the enemy or their demise from your current situation. The Bible even tells us to love our enemies and pray for those who curse and despitefully use us. By doing so, you are heaping hot coals on their heads and soon they will burst out in tears. No need to take matters into your hands or try to find a way around that situation. Vengeance belongs to the Lord and He will fight your battles for you and give you the needed victory. Right where you are, right in the presence of your enemies, God will vindicate you by lifting you and giving you abundance. Your blessings will come in multiple folds and the enemies will become so envious of you. Your blessings can come in so many forms and ways. It could be in terms of favor which will open the door to many other blessings. It could be promotion to a greater position. It could be a connection to a higher level. It might as well be children, money, health, and others. Just remember that it's not your battle to fight. God is the one who will fight for you. Just keep doing your best. Be diligent. Serve God and obey His commandments, and you will see things working out in your favor. Even if your enemies have planned your downfall or want to see your end, they will fall into whatever pit or trap they have set for you. God blessed Daniel so much in the land of the Persians. He became a favorite with the king and occupied one of the topmost positions in the kingdom. Because of God's blessings upon his life, his enemies started murmuring and looking for a way to bring him down, but their plans failed and they eventually fell into the trap they had set for him. Instead of losing his life, he came out stronger with the testimony of surviving the den of the ligand without any hurt or harm. His enemies, on the other hand, did not live to tell the story. 
God can even use those enemies to bless you and accelerate your increase and promotion. We see this example in the life of Haman and Mordecai. Haman so much wanted Mordecai out of his way just because the Jew refused to bow for him like the others. He sought means to bring down not only the man but everyone that was a Jew and that became his undoing. He eventually lost out in the end and was humiliated. Your enemies might have been trying to bring you down to their level and want to make you lick the dust off their feet because of some minor challenges that you are going through at the moment, but your refusal to come to them and your continued stance to stick with God is irritating them. Don't become intimidated by their powers or influence, just as God used Haman to announce Mordecai as the one whom the king chose to honor. He will also humiliate your enemies as well and use them to announce your glory. As Haman was hung on the gallows he had prepared for Mordecai, so also your enemies will become victims of their agenda and be put to shame. Keep in mind that your greatest enemies are not the people around you. It is not your neighbor who's always making fun of you or your employer who had been oppressing you for years. The scriptures say that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but powers and principalities, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 These are forces that you cannot deal with on your own and need the help of God to help you overcome. All those mockers that surround you are just being used by the main enemy, the devil, but even the devil will be put to shame over your life. While Jesus was on earth, the devil worked through different agents, using Pharisees and even one of the disciples to get to Jesus. When Jesus was crucified, he thought he had won. He did not know the surprise that was awaiting him when God raised Christ from the dead and gave him all power and authority in heaven and earth. Even the devil has been placed under the feet of Jesus. Can you imagine that? What victory could be much greater than having your enemy placed under your foot? That's what God will do to your enemies as well. He will give them the shock of their lives by placing them beneath you. Celebrate and get prepared to triumph over your foes. God will bless you with so much and make you smile. Those that can't afford to celebrate with you will end up in tears. You will have the final victory and the initial plans of the enemies would be disappointed over your life. God has prepared a great place for you and He will not stop until you have reached that position and gotten the blessings He has in stock for you. Get ready to see your enemies cry because God will do great things in your life. It's your season to rejoice too. Celebrate!